Americans have no clue what to eat or how much to eat. And we have been trained to eat heaping amounts of portions. Mm -hmm. So how do we teach them that portion size really matters? Well, we just simply eat too much, and that's why we have a problem with obesity. I mean, if you look at the French, for example, uh, although that's changing, honestly, they really know, uh, have healthier eating habits. So it's- What do they do differently? Well, it's kind of called the French paradox because they get to eat all this this high fat stuff that cheese, nutritionists butter, have, such as croissants, right? Such as I right. say absolutely not. Right. And they eat cheese, right. croissants, foie gras, right. and all that kind of stuff, but they wash it down with red wine. But it's all about portion size. Size matters. So they will eat, for example, a ham sandwich. They will order a uh, a on a croissant. Uh, not a croissant, that's all butter. They actually don't eat croissants. Baguette. That, and a baguette, thank right. you. So, they, which is, by the way, white bread, carbs, hello. Mm -hmm. We don't eat that here, but over there, they'll get a, a baguette with a sliver of ham, okay? And then mustard instead of mayo, and then maybe vegetables on there, mm -hmm. and walk around and eat their, si or sit down and eat and enjoy their delicious, beautiful uh, white bread baguette sandwich. Here in the United States, we'll order a ham sandwich. First of all, we're eating it in the car, shoveling it in while we're driving, not sitting down enjoying it. And we're eating uh, very quickly. And the ham sandwich has a pound of ham on there with mayo and cheese. So there you go. So we have definitely been small. taught to supersize everything. Supersize. Right. And it's also about slow eating. It's about enjoying food. It's about sitting down and, and the preparation and enjoying family and friends and beautiful food in small amounts that is filling and satiating so it's, and flavorful. And so, you know, I, I, I remember going to the south of France and it's just a whole different eating experience. I ate food fresh from the garden that was over there. And families are sitting there, and, and it's an entire night that you sit and you enjoy beautiful right. food. Do you don't any, shovel it in. Do you have any tips? Because again, in particular, when people go out to restaurants, mm -hmm. they're getting a heap of food, and they, they have no idea what a portion is. Do you have any tips for how to know how much protein, like you know, a protein should be? Well, the size nutritionists of typically your palm. say a deck of cards is the size of protein. But just know that if you're going into a restaurant, they're giving you too much food. So you want to maybe split the entree, maybe order an appetizer for dinner or a couple appetizers, and just understand that you're getting too much food when you eat out, which is why it's better to cook at home and then you have more control not only of the portion size, but of the ingredients that you, that you cook with. In my house, we actually serve most of our meals on smaller plates. And that's a really good thing to do. There's only that's, so much you can heap on a small plate. That's true. Behavior right. modification. Beautiful. I love it. All right. <laughs> Size matters when it comes to portions. Absolutely. Thank you, if you like what you saw today, come to BottomLineInc.com and see even more videos with Dr. Janet Bonbrill. And do me a favor. Share it. Tell your friends about it because this is such important information. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of men and women. We want the word out and we want people healthy.